you do realize that. So I'm on a whole tour and I've been busy touring. Okay. You made the black cherry. Oh, the black cherry lime. Oh, it's so good. I passed you the other day, but was in traffic to stop. Where you passed me at? You ain't passed me no other day. What's up, y'all? You passed me where? Who said this? Diane Pope 4 says, I passed you the other day. You passed me where? Where you passed me at? Nah, I know I wasn't in Baltimore, John. Nah, I wasn't over there. Maryland. No, I wasn't in Maryland. No, you definitely did not. You did not. No, you did not see me over there. The drinks, the one I'm doing tonight is going to be in my... Not the next book, but the one that comes after the next one. It's called uh, You Hungry? Let's Make a Snack. But the next book coming out is um, Eat Rich or Fry Trying. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to see this person lying to me talking about they passed me in traffic the other day. No good and well, you did not pass me in no traffic. Okay? What's up, y'all? I, I had hit the button on TikTok first, so I'm over here talking to people on TikTok. And telling TikTok, do not cut up. I bought my mother tickets to see you in Raleigh in April. It's on her birthday. Yes. I'm finna scam you. She said, the west side, the west side of what? Mm -mm. I wasn't even in town. I was in, I just got back from Orlando this morning. So I know you lying. Quit lying. You ain't past me. She said, the west side, the west side of what? What city? I know you lying. The west side of what? Hold on, y'all. Where you pass me at? I'm trying to see. This lady wants from she seen she passed me the other day on the west side, but she can't tell me the west side of what. The west side of Orlando. What day? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. What day? All right, what's up, y'all? Um, code for tonight. Let's call it Arby's. Okay. Uh, snack 27, that was the other day. Let's deactivate that discount code. So why don't I give you 30% off of whatever you want on the online store, uh, amount off orders, no way, amount off products. Hold on, <laughs> amount off products. All right, so A-R-B-Y-S will be the code. It'll get you 30% off of, let's see, you can get 30% off of aprons, cookbooks, cookware, hoodies, t-shirts, wine glasses, yeah, everything except for dining with Darius Cook's tickets, okay? Only while we're live, use the code Arby's at checkout to save, okay? All right, let's do it. It's been a minute, but where are we back with what? The jump off. All right, what do we do first? Besides say good evening, we make a cocktail, all right? This is one cocktail that will be in my new, not the book that's coming out next, but the one after that. This, these series of drinks I'm doing that I've been doing the idea last week and this week will be in there, okay? Let me get some ice first, please. And I will put some ice in my cocktail shaker to start, okay? And the ingredients for this cocktail are as follows, okay? The liquor. How you doing? Okay. All right. You will need several liquors for this, which they're great to keep on hand. The first is a dark rum. This is a Jamaican rum. Okay. So, um, you know, about a shot of it. Okay. Now, I believe in... 
um, everybody having a good time. So we're going to mix dark and light. We will have interracial drinks tonight. These drinks are mixed. Get it? Mixed. Interracial. But I'll pop, pop. I'll be here all week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, this is a shot of um, white rum. So that's mango, and then this one is pineapple. Okay, so nothing in here but rum. Mango, pineapple, and a dark rum. And a few more beautiful ingredients. This is passion fruit syrup. So the name of this drink is called a passion fruit guzzler. Okay, that's what it's called. Deal with it. Um, passion fruit goes in. I'm going to do a splash of pineapple juice. About right there. Let's get a glass. I, you know, I hate the fact I keep taking my end up to the warehouse to do work and forget to grab a, a pair of glass, a set of glasses. So unfortunately, I'm using old regular piece of tumbler glass. Let me get some ice in here though. Hold on, y'all. I hate that I keep I keep forgetting for whatever reason. All right, here's what you want to do. We're going to do this 70. 5% of the way up, okay? So we're gonna do this like three quarters of the way up. It's cold. It's very, very, very cold, okay? All right, I'm going to pour my passion fruit guzzler over the ice about three quarters of the way up, right? I'm stopping right there because I wanna finish with something fizzy, whether that's I'm using Fresca, but it could be lemon lime soda. It could be, um, somebody said what plus sugar he's going to be lit. Oh yeah, probably. Uh, but this is a zero calorie Fresca, which I, I like Fresca. So I like Fresca a lot, honestly. So I feel like this would be amazing. So this is called a passion fruit guzzler with all the liquor in the cabinet. Mm. This is here, boy. Boy, this is right here. At this time, we are asking all visitors to please stand. If this is your first, second, or third time joining us, we do ask that you please stand at this moment. We are so delighted that you have decided to join us today, for we do realize that it is only by God's divine providence that you are here with us uh, this evening. I do hope that something is said or done that really encourages your heart and you come back and visit us again. Now, at this time, we do have impact agents. They're coming from the rear of the sanctuary. They're going to give you uh, an information card. We ask that you take a moment in service, fill out that information card. And when you go around for offering, please put the card in the offering basket and we will be in contact with you. Now, we are asking that you please Come to the West Vestibule to claim your free gift. Do not go to the East Vestibule, okay? Uh, Mother Gertrude's grandson, Twan. Twan, you know, he's a hairdresser. And so Twan told the pastor that he was tired of seeing all the mothers with the strands of their wig missing, all right? Uh, sometimes the wigs be lopsided, they be on wrong. So the East Vestibule, Twan has a table set up and he taking volunteers and he's signing all the mothers up. If you got a crusty wig or it's not on right too good, Mother Gertrude's grandson is over there 
on the east vestibule. So if you want your free gift, you got to come to the west vestibule, okay? Praise God for Twan and his ministry. Allow us to welcome you. Let the foodie in me love the foodie in you. Let the foodie in me love the foodie in you because you're easy. Ba, 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 da. You're easy. Ba, 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 da. You're easy. Ba, 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 ba. Easy to love. You may be seated in his presence. And please, as you rest in your seat, please understand that blocking you blesses me. All right? So if you cut up and I get wind of it, it'll be the last time you cut up on this live stream. Yes? That's what I thought. All right. Let's do this. I got me... A couple of canes. I got a lot of stuff. I stopped at Publix. I was going to call y'all on Facebook when I went to Publix, but I said I was on the phone talking. I was doing stuff. I didn't really have a lot of time. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, they'll be fine. They'll be all right. One thing I know, my father was uh, a strong, resilient people. Arby's, huh? How many people went and had Arby's this weekend? Oh, by the way, the code for tonight is Arby's. If there's anything you want from the online store, you can go to shopdariuscooks.com and you can use the code um, Arby's to save 30% from anything on my online store. If there's anything that you want, okay? These are peaches. I have three cans of peaches. These are 15 ounce cans with the juice, okay? Some, for some reason, y'all, I don't know, y'all be for, um, forgetting the juice. The juice is very, very, very important. And I like my syrup or my peaches like I like my cream. Heavy. <laughs> okay. All right, let me grab some stuff out the cabinet. Y'all hold the line one second. Here I come. I'm just grabbing a few things we need. We need this, we need this, and we need some of this. Okay. Oh, you know what else we need? We need some. I'm gonna show you everything. So just calm down. All right. You just calm your little selves down. Uh oh, here you go. This is what I need. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Three cans of peaches. I'm going to add in just a little bit of butter. You don't really got to add that much. Sometimes y'all be adding too much butter to y'all stuff. And I don't really think you need to add that much um, butter. Just a little butter is all you pretty much really need. You don't need that much in your stuff, okay? So you're going to put you a little butter. You know, just a little... Get you a little tinge of butter. That's it. Get you a little tinge of butter. You're going to put your butter in. I'm using a Darius Cook's Everyday Skillet, which you can get today, right now, at shopdariuscooks.com. Just use the code uh, Arby's to save 30%. Okay, you need a pinch of salt in here, okay? Yes, a pinch of salt. That's really a pinch, okay? Then on top of that, let me tell you what you're gonna need. This is some um, cinnamon. You need a lot of cinnamon, a lot. Sometimes you think you don't put enough in there. You think, oh, it's too much, it don't be enough. You need a lot of cinnamon, okay? Use your little piece of nutmeg. Okay, nutmeg. This is not patty pie. Okay, just put you a little taint of nutmeg in there. You don't need that much. That is enough right there. That's plenty. All right. 
I must have rehearsed my lines. How many times? A thousand times. So I did what? Until I had them memorized. Oh, uh, I must have rehearsed my lines until I had them memorized. And did I get up the nerve to tell you the words? They never seem to come out right. I like Patty. But you know them pies be a little thick on you, bruh. Okay. Be a little thick on you, bruh. Okay, this is vanilla that they got stuck in here. I'm on my own. Why must it end this way? Once again, this wasn't how it was supposed to be. Okay, that's vanilla. Put your little vanilla in there. All right. And since we drink in Jamaican rum, we might as well drink some Jamaican rum in the peach cobbler, okay? I put a whole lot in there, Jesus Christ. That's all right, it'll cook out real good, okay? Okay, and then we just need some sugar. Uh, preferably African-American sugar, not Anglo-Saxon sugar, okay? Shout out to all the Anglo-Saxons watching, praise God. All right, this is what we do, all right? You just need a little sugar. That's it. You don't need that much, okay? Sometimes I feel like, let me tell you what I feel like. I feel like sometimes y'all be putting too much sugar in y'all stuff and too much butter. That's all you need right there. Okay? We're going to put this on. Let that cook down a little bit. Okay? That's it. Put you a little bit of stuff in your stuff. Y'all be putting too much and it makes me upset. It be upsetting me and my homegirls. That is not a lot. It's the camera. The lighting is bad. Now y'all know if I get y'all some light skin peach cobbler, y'all talk about me. Okay? You know, you know how much sugar Big Mama put in the peach cobbler. That's why it tastes like it tastes, Brick. Okay? Thank you. Refill, refill, refill. 75% of the way. All right. The rest of the way gets a little sparkling soda. All right, let's make the crumble. I like a crumble. Sometimes I go back and forth. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes I like a, um, sometimes I like a crumble. And then sometimes I like um, a crust. You know what I'm saying? So let me get a little stick of butter. Hold on. And let me show you how we do this, okay? I got butter. Let me get a bowl. And let me wipe this bowl out. This bowl got a little water down in it. It's not going to be right, okay? All right. Now the peaches are on. Peaches are peaching. And they're peaching pretty good. I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna be drinking every night. When this book come out, not the one that's coming up next, the one after the one coming up next, it's over. Completely. Okay, that's butter and that much um that much salt. Well you know what? I'm not sure that's enough butter. Put you a little more butter in there. You don't need that much. Huh? Just a look like that much. That's all you need. Alright, now let's put some um sugar with this. I'm looking slim. Thank you. 
Gastric bypass, child. Everything too big. This is a two, these are two X bloomers I got on. These two X pants. Look how big these pants is on my ass. Okay, look how big these pants is. This don't make no sense to have the pants be like this. Look how big these pants are. On my ass. Why are they so big? Okay. Why are these pants that god dang on big? It don't make no sense, but they are, okay? Okay, that is butter. We're going to put some sugar in here. The haters on Twitter say, he ain't have surgery. He lying. Shut up. Who the, who the, who act? I don't want to cuss because the, the saints be watching me. Praise God. Hallelujah. We've come this far, about that. <laughs> Leaning on the Lord. What are we doing? Trusting in his holy word. He never failed me yet. What's the part that you like? Oh. Oh, 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 can't turn around. Let me stir up my stuff. Hold on, y'all. Oh, oh, it smells like something in here. All right. Oh, it's smelling like something in here. Yes, it is. Come on, peaches. Do what you got to do. Do what you come to do. Oh, excuse me. What you can to do? All right. What's in here? Flour, sugar, butter, and salt. Are y'all singing it too? <laughs> y'all sing. Y'all can sing it. We can praise God on a Monday. We've come. No, let me tell you my favorite song. In God. There is no failure. He will do whatever you ask them to. Just have faith and believe. Many blessings you will receive. Because there is no failure. No failure. Y'all remember um, when Regine sang it? In God, against uh, C.C. Winans. Oh, there's never been a time in my life. Every time I hear that song, I go crazy. I sing it like I wrote it. And I know I can't sing that. See, that's why the Lord didn't give me the voice to sing. Because the Lord say, you are already fine. So we don't want to do too much with that. That's what the Lord said. He said, you are already cute. He said, I'm going to give you $2 to your name to rub together, okay? That's what the Lord told me. I don't know what he told y'all, okay? I'm going to give you a couple dollars to rub together, okay? Um, I can't do too much, though. I can't give you the gift of singing because you're going to be arrogant. Let me tell you what God knows. His people. See, with cooking, I don't get the big head with cooking. Cooking is nothing. You see what I'm saying? I can do this with my eyes closed. I'm cool with this. This is a little crumb topping, FYI. Um, better yet, I don't know what my cookbooks are, but if you got stories from my grandmother's kitchen, <laughs> it's in there, all right? It's the uh, lunchroom butter cookie recipe. I just break, broke it up, and I do it as a crumble to go on top of my stuff, okay? No, God said... We can't give him all the gifts. We got to give him one or two more. That's it. You can't have too many, too many more gifts. It's not going to work. I say, God, you know my heart. All right. Let's get this peach cobbler in the oven. So we can finish our work. All right. I thought I had some cornstarch. I'm sure I do, but I don't know where it's at. So let me show you what we do. It's called a ram in the bush. Huh? 
I normally a little cornstarch and water will work real good and you can thicken it up. I don't know where it's at. It's probably in there somewhere. But I don't feel like looking for it. Child, I see it right there. I just caught it. Corner of my eye. Here it go right here. It ain't that much in here though. So I think the Lord really wanted me. Oh well. You know what? Let me see this enough. I was gonna make a roux real fast to thicken up my stuff, but I think I think it's a corner of um, cornstarch in here that may work. If not, we're gonna roux it. I told y'all I cook like y'all cook at the house. Don't know if you got this. Don't know if you got that. Don't know what's going on. All right. Watch it come out good though. Okay, do that while it's still um, boiling. And then let's mix it together. Let's see if this worked, if this was enough cornstarch. It was. But you know what though? Honestly, it could be a little thicker for me. So let's do it. Clearly God want me to show y'all how to make this root. Clearly, the Lord want me to show you how to make this root. So if you ever run out of cornstarch, but you got flour and butter, you have a way to thicken up your cobbler, okay? Don't forget, if you need something, go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Arby's at checkout to save 30%. Oh, what's up, Darius? My friend Darius Thomas. Pastor, forgive me. Forgive me. Pastor Darius Thomas is on. We go way back, man. Back to Lincoln Park High School. Class of 19. Okay. All right. I'm just going to mix up. Let me show you what I'm doing. I'm just taking flour and butter. And I'm just going to mix together. Let's get the paper out of here. Okay. I'm just going to mix together. This is a spatula. Find you something that works better than this. A spoon or something. But I'm just going to mix together the flour and butter. Because I, what I really want is I really want the um, flour to become one with the butter. I want the butter to melt. And that will be my thickening agent. For my cobbler. And we go cook it just a little bit. We want a light skin roux. Okay? You know what's light skin roux? Macaroni and cheese. Light skin roux. Yes? All right. You know what you do. Quit acting brand new. All right. You see how we just cooked this up a little bit? You see that? We just mix the flour and the butter together like this. Let it cook a little bit. Get that flour taste out. Now we have a light skin roux. We can put the light skin roux. And to our cobbler, and look at that thicken up immediately. Quit playing with me. Okay, hold on, let me stir it up real good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I thought somebody said something. That's what I thought. If y'all thought somebody had said something about my stuff, you know how y'all be talking. Ramekins, because we're going to make little personal cobblers. You could make a big cobbler if you wanted to, but I'm here for the little mini, all right? I'm going to get some peaches in here as well as some of the beautiful liquid that's rolling around this beautiful um cobbler juice which is great on like ice cream or with a straw or something like that see we're just gonna wipe this up real good on the side all right you see what i got okay 
You see that? You hate cooked fruit? What's up, JR? I'm just trying to be like you when I grow up, man. Y'all, my friend James Robinson, also known as Mr. Chefito, is watching me live on Instagram. Please go check him out. Not only does he have Kitchen Cray um, Cafe in Lanham, he also has uh, Kitchen Cray in Virginia. There's a Kitchen Cray in D.C. He also has a Flight Lounge in D.C. and Club Elevate, which is in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Okay? When I tell you he has all the money, and the headaches that come with it too, okay? Shout out to JR, cooking it up for the people. Oh, and he has Kitchen Cray in the stadium too, right? I'm put up in Jamaica? No. Jamaicans do not like gays. I'm too gay for Jamaica, okay? Way too gay. I went to Jamaica. That man said to me, he said, do you want some, um, what are you trying to sell me? Some, um, some cocaine. I said, oh, I got to go out of here. I'm too saved to be over here in Jamaica. Mm -mm. Now, I did go to, uh, I was in Montego Bay. I went to, uh, I had scotchies. I had tasty patty. And the man, the guy out front who make the sugarcane juice, I was there with him too. Let me tell you what happened though. They don't they do not treat they do not treat black people like me good in Jamaica. And you do not act like I'm telling y'all something that's new. You know good well they don't. I was down there at their resort and they treated me horribly. Okay? They treated me so bad it was it was a mess the way they treated me. And then um I called a taxi. She gonna say, Where you going? I said to the airport. She said, Oh no, you have another day on your reservation. No, you have a day on the reservation, not me. Uh, I've already contacted Chase, Chase uh, Protection, and um, Chase done gave me my credit. All right, I'm leaving. Thank you. They don't like us. Look at that. Okay, can you see this? This is peach cobbler with the crumb topping on top. Huh? Look at it. Look how good that look. It ain't even baked yet. You see that? Hold on. I ain't even put it in the oven yet. I just got it. Yeah, they were trying to sell me cocaine. The man was like, you want some cocaine? Sir. No, I don't want that. Mm -mm. Do I want cocaine? No. I surely do not. Okay. Peach cobbler. It's off in the oven, ovening. Now, let's talk. And you guys have to tell me what page this recipe is on. I thought I had a cookbook here. And I do. I put it up somewhere. I don't know where it's at. Um, the bacon, the corn and bacon gravy out of stories from my grandmother's kitchen. I don't know what page it's on. And I don't even know the real recipe, but I'm going to make it like I think I remember it, okay? And if it's missing an ingredient or two, just deal with it, okay? All right, corn. If you're lucky um, to live in the South, ooh, ooh. If you're lucky enough to live in the South, you can still get fresh corn. I don't know what it's like up in, where y'all at? In Chicago and Minneapolis and all that. I don't know, okay? But I can tell you down here, you see, we have fresh corn. They have the white corn or the yellow corn. I'm going to tell you right now. 
Corn is corn. What temperature? I put it up to 375 so I can really go. All right. The, the peaches are ready. I like my peaches with a look. You know, I'm either firm or super soft with my peaches. I don't like them in between. You see what I'm saying? I like them either firm. Or super soft. Thank you. Okay. We got to cut this corn up, y'all. Don't forget, the code for tonight is Arby's. If you need anything from our online store, you go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Arby's at checkout to save 30%. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. I'm starting a new business. You might have heard the new business is called Be a Snack, okay? It is an adult toy line. Huh? Because I feel like falling in love. I'm in the mood. It's, it's an adult toy line. And it's called Be a Snack. Oh. What happened? Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Something happened on Facebook. You guys just hold on one second. Okay? Facebook always does something. I think it's my haters got something to Look, post now. It won't even let me post it. I click now, it's like nothing. Let me restart it. Hold on. Hold on, I wanna hear y'all mouth. Facebook don't work, Facebook. Not y'all, Facebook, another Facebook. Um, What's on your mind? Live video. I'm back. I don't know, I don't, don't get me started. I don't know what be going on with Facebook. Some days Facebook work. Look, it's not working at all. It's not working at all. It's just stuck. It's stuck on one. So let me use my personal cell phone to get back on Facebook. Facebook, y'all just hold on one second. I don't want to hear your mouth. Oh, wait. Not check in. Live video. Okay. I'm back. I don't know what, what happens. I don't know why this does this. I don't know. I can't even begin to, to answer that question for y'all. You came over there. It's okay. I'm, I'm getting it back. I, I don't know. I can't answer the question as to why it doesn't work or why it cut out. I don't know. Shit. Okay. All right. Facebook, we should be back in action. Okay. Sorry. Look, it's stuck on one. Y'all see that? It just stuck on one. It say connecting and it's stuck on one. It just cut off for whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe... Mark them don't like me. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Oh, yes. We are back. I'm sorry, Facebook. Um, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It just, it is what it is. Okay. Can you just deal with it? Thank you. Let me sip some more because I'm going through. Y'all back now? I see you. Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know. Some days Facebook don't give me no problems. Some days it give me all the problems. I don't know. Okay, this is going to be enough corn. Three ears is enough. We ain't feeding that many people. Okay, three ears of corn is plenty. Okay? Now, I'm going to tell you something for this that I normally do not say. But for this particular recipe, if you wanted to use frozen corn, I wouldn't be mad at you. 
Okay? By the time we get done playing with it, I wouldn't be mad at you. Just saying. Okay. What goes with corn? Hmm? Bacon. For this recipe, you really could use, hold on, I can't seem to get y'all my face in here good so y'all can see my face. Okay, there you go. For this recipe, you could use the scraps. You don't have to use the expensive bacon. The scraps of bacon work good for this too. So I'm just gonna, just cut this into pieces. Okay, and then get the get a pan ready on the stove. Let me rinse out this pan because I don't want to dirty up no more dishes. Hold on, y'all. There we go. All right, in this pan, let's add bacon. All right, thick cut doesn't matter. Thin cut doesn't matter. Because by the time we get done with our preparation on this bacon, uh, we're going to blend it anyway. So you're not even going to see four pieces of bacon in here. Baby, let me tell you something. It's on page 130. That's what they just said. You can go to Stories from my grandmother's kitchen, page, oh, the new business. Sorry, it's an adult toy line called Be A Snack, okay? I tried out one of the products today, love it. Shop, I mean, uh, go to Facebook. We have a private group, no judgment, in our private group, okay? Let me say it again. No judgment in our private group. It's called Be A Snack. Now, if you know you not free-flowing, don't bring your ass in that group. But if you're free-flowing and open-minded, you have a try. Okay. Somebody said, not the mouth pop. I want some Darius. What is that? Oh, it's just me being gay. That's it. It's just me being gay. You know what I'm saying? Like the mouth pop, they come with being gay. Okay, this is onion. I'm going to throw some onion in with that bacon that's cooking up. I'm gonna give it a little olive oil though. So it has a little room to breathe, you know what I mean? Okay, this is bacon and onion. That's cooking up. Why don't I throw in my three ears of corn in there as well? Why? Because we can. Listen, corn, bacon, onion, how bad could that be? Okay? Now, as this is cooking up, you know what this is screaming for? Like, it's screaming. Can you hear it? What's the one thing this pan is screaming for? Garlic. Garlic. This pan is saying, um, somebody said, why are you not answering me? Sis. I'm live on TikTok, 
Instagram, my Facebook fan page, my Facebook personal page, and YouTube. You think the fuck I'm looking at these comments? Honey, I'm trying to remember what I got to do next without being too intoxicated, all right? If you're looking for an answer, go to Google. <laughs> she put it in all caps. Why are you not answering me? Girl, what I think about you? She think we on FaceTime, don't she? Girl, we on FaceTime. This is a live stream, sis. She think we on FaceTime and she got an Android. Thank you. Okay. As if I'm up here talking to one person. It's several thousand people watching me. Okay. I'm trying to think about what's coming next. And you talking about, so why you not answering me? Girl. Because ain't nobody thinking about you. You want to answer? Go to Google. Uh, that one's dead. That was a dead garlic clove. Hold on. Can't eat that. Okay, I got about four cloves of garlic. I'm using my Darius Cooks Everyday Knife and my Darius Cooks Cutting Board, which you can get by going to shopdariuscooks.com. If you use the code um, Arby's, you can save 30% tonight, only while we're live, okay? Let me stir this up. Okay, my pan's a little dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. There we go. And I've not added any seasoning to this, so this is just straight corn, straight bacon, straight onion, and straight garlic. I mean, it could be gay. I don't know if it's straight, bisexual, but you know what I'm saying. It's all I put in here was just this. Okay, which is just bacon, corn, garlic, and onion. That's it. Okay, let's add in some uh, black pepper. And then, I, again, I'm not looking at the recipe, okay? The recipe is, in, is on page 130 of stories from my grandmother's kitchen. So, um... I don't have a book in front of me, so I'm seasoning from the spirit. Thank you. Okay, speaking of spirit, we will need herbs de Provence or Italian seasoning. Let's throw that in here, okay? A little bit of that. I put black pepper, okay? This is Creole seasoning or Cajun seasoning. You can use a prepared one. You can make your own. It doesn't matter, okay? Oh, what am I sipping on? A passion fruit guzzler. Thank you. Okay, this is Cajun going on. Okay, a bit of that. Now, the one thing you have not seen me add, um, hold on, I can't see straight. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute now, hold on one second. Hold on. Now, hold on. Oh, there you go. I see it. A 
little taint of onion powder, little taint of garlic powder. I think that's all we need. If we need something else, you look at the recipe on the cookbook, okay? <laughs> if we need something else, you look at the recipe in the cookbook, okay? Look at that. This is corn, bacon, seasonings, onion, and gar. Don't that look good? And I'm using my Darius Cooks Everyday Skillet. You could this skillet. It's the best skillet you will ever own. This skillet is available at shopdariuscooks.com. Thank you. Okay. The last thing we need to add to um, the situation is I have some heavy cream. Okay. The heavy cream is going to do a couple things. All that stuff on the bottom of the skillet, all that seasoning, all that fond, all that flavor, this heavy cream is going to pick all that flavor up, okay? You ready? So, oh, oh, oh. Okay. Calm down now, corn. So we got a little heavy cream going on. All right. And then all I want to do is get in here and just pick up the flavor on the bottom of this skillet. I want to get all that flavor into my sauce. Okay. Because that's going to be good stuff happening. Okay. I can kill my heat for now, and I can grab the blender. This is the base, okay, and... Here we have the top of the blender. I can take that corn and that bacon and that cream and put it in the blender. What are we having? Corn and bacon gravy, okay? Corn and bacon gravy. Okay, I'm putting all of it in here. All the bacon, all the corn, everything. Okay, all in the blender. Now we blend. Now we taste for seasoning, okay? And we figure out what we need. Oh, you smell great. Let me see. The slightest bit of bouillon, okay? I don't have chicken anymore. Um, I'm all out of chicken bouillon. So I'm gonna put a little beef bouillon in because I'm out of chicken. Deal with it, okay? Or buy me some more. Let me see. Perfect. It needs nothing. No salt, no pepper, no sugar, it needs nothing. That corn and bacon gravy is perfection. Absolutely, positive perfection, okay? I'm gonna add the corn and bacon gravy back to the skillet 
and we'll let it stay warm until we're ready to serve it. All right, I'm gonna put it on the back burner on low and let it just sit there, okay? Now let me check the oven for our cobblers that are working. Ooh, boy Jesus. Make sure you always put the cobblers on a sheet pan because they will bubble over. And let me tell you what's going on in that oven. Perfection. All right. Now, before we cook up these shrimp, we need to re-up our drink. Let me grab... Okay, let me grab some ice. Hold the line, all right. Let me grab some ice. Okay. Now, for the beverage. We need one shot of dark rum. We need one shot of pineapple rum. We need one shot of mango rum. Then we need one shot of passion fruit and one shot of pineapple, all right? Then you give that a mix. Okay, you do your little dance. Three quarters of the way up. <laughs> we finish with Fresca. Okay, we give it a stir. That was number the electric slide. Okay. What we supposed to do next? I was gonna fry some okra. I ain't got it in me. Let me tell you what I do got though. Huh? Let me tell you what I do have. I have a bowl. Another bowl. What I got? Scrimp. Jumbo shrimp. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, shit, nine, and a half. Three second rule. Huh? Deal with it. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Ten. Lem. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, y'all. These are cold as shit. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, whoo, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. I'm done. I'm about to freeze my little hands off. Ooh! Okay. Shrimp. Jumbo. The bigger the better. That's what he said. <laughs> okay. Black pepper. Okay. A pinch. Kosher salt. You need more than that, okay? It's not the new bay. It's not the new bay. It's the old bay, okay? The saints are still watching me. I know they're watching. Praise God. <laughs> okay. Let me see you drop a shrimp. Do you know how much shrimp costs? These shrimp are like $16 a pound. Let me see you drop one shrimp. You're going to do the same thing I did. you do the same thing I did. Pick that shrimp up, rinse that shrimp off, and put that shrimp in the, the thing. Deal with it. Okay. Y'all kill me being so high and mighty like you don't do stuff. Y'all get on my nerve, all of y'all. Okay? Y'all get on my last nerve. Y'all know good and well, y'all do the same thing I'm doing. You're killing me. Okay? You're killing me. Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, dried fennel, and a little piece of Arabs de Provence. Just a little touch. All right, let's get a glove. Whew. All right, believe it or not, I got the deep fryer has been heating up this whole time, okay? So we're going to mix this together really well. Make sure all those seasonings are incorporated. Yes, I love you. You know I love y'all. That's why I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love you, okay? I'm just slanging and seasoning it. No, I'm seasoning it. Damn. Okay, TikTok, y'all acting good over there? Y'all tell me a TikTok cutting up. Tell me who I got to block. I'm putting a little water in here. Mm. Beautiful. Let me get some flour. Where the flour go? Right here. 
I mean, if you want, you can put cornmeal in this. Y'all being good so far? Okay, cool. Okay, all right. Keep it up. So far, so good? Okay. I do have moderators on TikTok. I think... I don't really be on TikTok like that, so I don't really remember. I'm so sorry. All right, I'm going to mix this up with the flour. Oh, Lord. And I want to get it evenly coated. Okay? To the point where it looks like this. Oh, wait. Like this. Okay? You see how it's clumped up and coated like that? I got it all. You see how it's clumped up? Okay, let me put it in the, in the hot grease. Pardon me. It don't take long now. It don't take a couple minutes for your shrimp to cook through. Okay. All my shrimp are in the oil. My corn and bacon gravy is 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 uh simmering. Now let me cut up some scallion and get my scallions ready for my garnish, okay? Because we just about done. All right, you just calm down. I got this, okay? Scallions. You're gonna take about two of these. I like cutting my scallions a Pacific way, okay? Not specific, but a Pacific way. I like cutting them really long on the bias. Like this, let me show you. See this? I like them like this, like long and gorgeous and beautiful, okay? So I just achieved that look by cutting it on the bias in thin strips. Then I get what I'm looking for, you know what I'm saying? I got my scallions all cut, looking beautiful. They look gorgeous, see that? Okay, all right. Let me check on my shrimp. My shrimp are done, okay? <laughs> Just that fast. My shrimp are done, okay? So, we're going to plate up our shrimp and then we're going to make the whipped cream for our gravy, I mean, for our peach cobbler, okay? Yes. There is a code for tonight. Whew. 
I'm trying to hold it together. The code for tonight is Arby's. A-R-B-Y-S. Use the code Arby's at checkout to save 30%. Okay? Use the code Arby's at checkout. <laughs> what I'm drinking? Passion fruit guzzler. Okay? Passion fruit guzzlers. Enough said, all right? It's made with passion fruit. And it's made with guzzlers. By the time you get it, all you're going to be doing is guzzling. Okay? All right, here go my shrimp. All fried up. Here you go. Okay. Oh, Lord. We just, oh, shit. That's hot. We just lost one. Five second rule. Deal with it. Okay. Look at that. I'm going to go camera to camera. Hold on. This one fell on the floor, but I'm going to still bless that one and eat it. Huh? God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Three second rule. Right. Exactly. Okay. There you go. Um, who are you? You are YouTube. YouTube. It's a lot of y'all. 400 of y'all. Hey, YouTube. Hey, y'all. Okay. My Facebook friends. Praise God. Hola. Facebook fan page. Hey, y'all. Okay. You, uh, Instagram. Praise God. Huh? Okay. But well, y'all can't see. Hold on. The light is bad. There you go. That's a little better. Deal with it. Okay? And then this is TikTok. Hey, TikTok. TikTok, you don't stop. Okay? I got to taste one. Just one. Okay, it looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. I got to taste just one. Let me see. Chicken fried shrimp is delicious. It's just hot. You know how black folks eat their stuff when it be hot. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Okay. So here's how we do this. Here's how we do this. This is from the, the room. We put some of the corn and bacon gravy on the bottom. Okay. Then we put tons of shrimp right on top, as much as you like. You know how much shrimp you like to eat? Put that much shrimp on top. Like that, see that? Okay, then I need a little black pepper action because I feel like corn loves black pepper. Okay, and then let's take some of our garnishes, some of our green onion, and let's put our green onion oh, 
right on top. See that? Look at that. You see that? Instagram? You see that? Facebook? Look at that. Okay? You see that? Facebook friends? And this is YouTube. You see that? Huh? All right. All you got to do is bow your head and say grace. Grace. Here we go. Let me see. Chicken fried shrimp with corn and bacon gravy, which you can get at shop dairy. I mean, uh, the book is at shopdariuscooks.com. This is the book. This is the recipe that's in stories from my grandmother's kitchen, which you can get at shopdariuscooks.com. Okay. Here we go. If you've never used corn as a gravy, you do not know what you're missing. The combination of sweet and savory and onion that comes through from corn being fried being and sitting in gravy made with bacon? Oh my God. It's so good. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Okay, come on, let's make this peach cop. I mean this um whipped cream. Mm. It's so good. Oh, that's delicious. Ah. The corn. And the bacon is like sweet and salty with like this crispy shrimp. So you're getting like texture upon texture upon texture, right? It's like the perfect bite. Mm. 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 Okay. What is that? Mm. We be cooking, don't we? We be cooking, don't we? Okay. All right. Y'all calm down. Don't forget, use the code Arby's at checkout to save 30% at shopdariuscooks.com. Okay? All right. Put some ice in a bowl. And I'm gonna give it a little water. Okay, and I'm gonna set another bowl right inside. Okay. Now to that.
I've got some heavy cream. Heavy cream is gonna get a little bit of vanilla extract. All right. Little swig of rum. And why don't we do a little swig of sugar. Plenty. Just slightly sweetened. Oh, God. Oh, God. What's happening in this oven is downright sinful. I'm going to cut the oven off and let the residual heat keep cooking. I'm going to add a pinch of salt to my cream, all right? So this is cream and sugar. With whiskey, I mean with bourbon, no, with rum. And um, sugar, vanilla, that's what it's in here, okay? This takes a while. Talk amongst yourself. tired the things I do for y'all give me a second all right this is it needs to build up some muscle okay I'm at the soft peak stage of whisking, which is when you get soft peaks from your cream, okay? So if you like soft peaks, you can stop there. I'm about to enter the stiff peak stage in a second. You see that? Soft peaks. See that? Real whipped cream. None of that cool whip stuff around here. Okay. Perfect. We're there. You see that? We are, we're there. That's what you want. When you talk about stiff peaks, that's what you want your whipped cream to be like, okay? Now, speaking of whipped cream, why don't I take out the peach cobbler? You do remember the peach cobbler that we made with the crumb topping from scratch. Did you remember that? Cause it's ready. Thank you. Oh. 
Whew. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and then here's what we do. Here's, I'll fix that in a second. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a plate together. All right, let me get a plate together. Here's what we do. So these are very, very hot. So you want to be very, very careful when you move this around, okay? I'm gonna put this on a plate because it is steaming hot. And the last thing you wanna do is burn yourself, okay? I want you to see this. All right, I'm gonna try to go, well, let me top it first with some of the whipped cream. The uh, rum whipped cream that we made. All right, and then I'll go camera to camera so you guys can see. Wait, I'm gonna have to cut the light off. Let me see, hold on. All right, that's probably gonna be a little better. Here you go. All right, this is YouTube. This is... Facebook friends, this is Facebook my fan page, this is um, Instagram, and then this is TikTok, all right? Now, all we got to do, bow your head and say grace, grace, all right, well... Here we go, fresh cobbler. Oh my God, this thing is steaming. Y'all hear that crust? Okay, that's that butter and sugar working. Okay. I can't even begin to put in words for you what this crust with this peach juice and this whipped cream is doing for my taste buds. I can't even begin. Mm. Baby, I'm sorry. This makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. Peach Cobbler Crisp. It's in the stories from my grandmother's kitchen cookbook. So if you need a copy of the cookbook, go to shopdariuscooks.com. Use the code Arby's at checkout to save 30%. All right? Y'all. Mm. I'm sorry. The crust, the sweetness, the peaches, all of it together is outstanding. So we've whipped up three dishes. We started with our passion fruit guzzlers, which has me completely lifted. Chicken fried shrimp with corn and bacon gravy and a little peach cobbler crisp that we made from scratch. 
all these recipes uh, for these two are in stories from my grandmother's kitchen. The cocktail will be in a book coming out somewhere around November-ish of this year, all right? Two things I want to tell you, as I always do. Food is my life. Life, <laughs> it's my food. Until next time, I got to wish you a happy cooking. From my heart to yours, all right? Bye, y'all.